Hello guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about HANA revision upgrade. So let's see what is my current HANA version and how I am going to upgrade the version. So for that we will connect to PuTTY and see the system version. So I am going to change the uh, change it to SIDDM. I installed HDB SID. So HDB ADM. So I am just giving HDB enter you can see the option so I want to know version so I will use this now HDB space version means it will give us the exact version of the HANA database you can see here this is an HANA 2.0 SPS 04 we call it and the revision patch number is 46 so we are going to upgrade it to the higher version let's see how to perform that the same we can check from HANA studio as well to the same system I connected so this is the version and uh, here I haven't installed any plugins uh, some plugins will be there like uh, uh, AFL application functional library LC apps like that we have many but uh, in my case I haven't installed anything so let's see how to perform this uh, particular revision upgrade any anyway anything we are going to perform any high level changes to SAP systems or HANA database the basic thing we follow is taking a backup so trigger a backup of system db and tenant db here because uh, we may require tenant db uh, backup also if you want to restore it back again if we have any issue so as usual i am giving system db backup so as it is a system db backup only name server details will be backed up because name server and data monkey name server means it contains the topology of the HANA database like how many tenants we have what is the tenant SIDs and what are the tenant ports such kind of info information will be there in name server maybe if we have a situation we may get a requirement of this name server that's why we are taking backup of this coming to refresh activities there is no need of tenant uh, system DB backup only tenant backup is enough as usual uh, here also uh, system is done now I'm triggering tenant database backup so I have triggered tenant backup also here what will backed up index server will be backed up and access uh, access will be backed up uh, this will be for a uh, uh, security purpose HTTP to HTTPS such kind of uh, things it will be helpful okay let it complete then we'll start with our task here uh, we can see the access engine backup is completed but it takes some time for index server because index server is the main process of data units log units like suppose I, I have some ECC system installed on this so whatever the ECC transactional data actual core data will be there entire will be resides in index server that's the reason index server backup will take some some time according to the database size here uh, our database size is around uh, I think around 30 GB like that only as it is a dummy database so we'll wait till it completes so here two volumes are backed up close this now we are ready to go for revision upgrade okay to perform revision upgrade we will perform it with we will perform it with hdb lcm only so i will use i'll use this one sap dump lsf and l and here this is the folder where i have my software so i am giving full permission a star i am putting for all files once it is done see i will go to data units ls and l here you can see i am i am going to upgrade hana studio hana server itself only now i want to upgrade afl also i have to go here i have to go inside just i have to launch this uh, this this will be picked up no need to launch sorry just I will show you that one as well no need no need to worry about that 
So I'm going to server folder. I have HDBLCM, HDBLCM GUI, and this HDBLCM is called. We have two HDBLCMs. One is called Resident HDBLCM. Another one is called Downloaded HDB LCM. What do you mean by downloaded? Means you can do installations. Revision upgrade, like uh, we simply call it as upgrades, like that. Coming to resident, add host, uh, push data to SLD, such kind of thing. Let's see resident HDB LCM also. I'll open one more session, duplicate session. Okay, some network issue. I am logging into the system. HDB ADM. I am going CD slash HANA shared. Here I can see the resident HDB LCM related path. In this, see here HDB LCM is there. This is called resident HDB LCM. This is the path HANA shared SID HDB LCM. Let's launch this. Just we'll see what are the options. If you see here, add host, add host, installation check, configuration internal network, configure SLD. Only you have these options only, not a revision upgrade or not installation kind of things here. So 13 exit, enter. 13 it is taken and it, it got exit. So this is meaning of resident HDB LCM. Now this is downloaded one. So before launching this, let's stop the HANA database because uh, we have to stop the system to perform a revision upgrade so what i will do quickly i'll switch to hdb adm and hdb stop command it will stop the hana database again i will come here with root user i will start the revision upgrade activity So it's taking some time um, to stop the HANA database. So you can check it here in the landscape. If you do a refresh, you will come to know the status. Now web dispatcher is down, daemon is down and other services are going down. Uh, if you want to bring down HANA system from here, you can do that also. Like MNC in SAP, you can do this thing. Already stop is disabled because you stopped it start only option we have when we do start it will ask us uh, SID ADM credentials uh, as usually we will give like uh, MMC in SAP it will be useful when the system is added only you can do such kind of activities if system is not added I hope it won't be possible so it's taking some time let's put interval of 5 seconds and play it will uh, get refreshed every 5 minutes, yeah, sorry, every 5 seconds, see. I think it's went down, yeah, it's went down. So now again go to this path. Uh, let's exit from here and go, I mean the same path with root user. Let's check, let's launch HDB LCM dot slash HDB LCM enter it has identified these many these many applications of HANA database see once I launch HANA LCM means life cycle management HANA database 2.0 so on so version detected components SAP HANA AFL so on so version HANA database HANA client SDA smart data access HANA studio local secure store access advanced EML AFL, EPM MDS, these all are sub components of HANA database. So, if I want to perform update or install, it's up to us. So, install we won't do now, we do update. Installation will put one more video. So, for update, I will press one, enter. See here, do you want to perform all? All means whatever the components identified here, do you want to perform all components? No, I don't want to perform. I want to perform server later if SAP is installed I have to perform client also 
if AFL is there, I will use this option. Like that, individually perform the upgrade. That is a better suggestible. If you do all, suppose this uh, AFL version is not matching or AFL files are not identified, entire your, your uh, activity will be in trouble. So do one by one. That is my suggestion. I will follow the way of doing one by one. So I am doing server. So I will put enter of two and enter. So what it is asking username of system it's a system only if it is the same value see it is asking here it is asking here and it is mentioning something if this is the same just enter so it is asking password now put the password i have given the password so that's it only system password is enough as a pre-step you can maintain in your sheet like system should be in active state so do you want to continue yes enter updating components it's 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 uh, being updated in all the levels so the components are being updated so usually the revision upgrade is a small activity but uh, in production systems if you have uh, replication setup so there it's a bit difficult how to perform revision upgrade in DR scenario or in HA scenario. Simple thing, our HA should be then higher version than primary. Means let us consider this is my primary, secondary and DR. So this when I am going to perform this revision upgrade I should do from here first this one so I can consider like this first DR next HA third one is primary like this I have to do in this sequence so here it is difficult breaking the replication and all uh, we'll see in next video how to set up a replication also so for now we'll see what is the status uh, okay the language uh, language package is updating let's wait for a couple of minutes we'll see uh, the update is completed so if you want to see the logs where we can see you can see in this path why this network issue duplicate session are here duplicate session no chance i don't know uh, what is the issue let's Let's see here only after the upgrade completion. I just will try in this way. 192.168.1.75. Same error I'm getting. Uh, let it be. See starting system, starting seven processes. So let's see here. Let's connect here and do a refresh. Here you can see the processes. So just observe this, uh, as of now it is not displaying here, let's see. So you can observe here, the version is upgraded, earlier it is 46, now it is upgraded to 52. So all the services are coming to green state also. Once all are green, so you will do basic validation of basis T codes into SAP level and basis, uh, basic validation if any high alerts are there, any trace files are generating. And after the after all these uh, after basic analysis, we can release it to the customers. Anyways, we are doing it in lower environment first development later quality. So we won't identify any issues in production specifically. So this is the version upgrade. Let's see here what it is giving. So still importing delivery units. Let's wait for uh, this one to complete. After that, we can see the path of log also, where the log is being written and all. So, in my previous video, someone asked me about this putty, uh, putty and uh, win SCP. Putty is a tool man, it's like, uh, see, by using Putty, you can connect to uh, Linux system, which is in somewhere, like my Linux system IP is 
particular one which is my hana hosted you want that 75 i will connect to that by using putty see linux itself called uh, command level uh, os so to perform that usually rdp is a tool uh, for windows system to connect to any windows system like our uh, development uh, system is this so to connect to this i have a rdp setup this is for windows like the same way to connect to linux systems we have many third party tools one of them is putty most of the people will use putty only so this is the meaning of putty and coming to win sap so to copy any data to copy any data from our sap system, our our laptop desktop or our one of the server to some of the linux system we use win sap win means windows sap means secured copy protocol by using secured copy protocol we will copy the data to a linux system from windows system that is the uh, exact meaning of putty and uh, win sap so you can see here the updating is done uh, you can see here all the details so log file written to this path interior may ask you uh, if if you find some issue in your recovery or your upgrade process where you will find the logs you have to tell this path in var temp i can find the files i will go to var temp here i will look for see hdb lcm update i will go to this folder of hdb lcm update and i will check here the logs see this log hdb lcm log more space hdb lcm log i'll check here if if any error is there based on that error i can identify where the issue is issue is there and according to that i may raise a incident to sap i may set for sap standard blocks kbas and i can i can get the solution for that so whatever the action happened everything is here so this is the end result of update activity so this is about uh, revision upgrade guys so we'll uh, meet in next session uh, with a new topic uh, till then bye bye thank you